What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today we're doing a little solo mission. I'm craving crab, so we're gonna go try to catch a little crab right now with crab snares. And uh, most likely, we'll be catching some rock crab, and then we're gonna make yaki onigiri. That's gonna be delicious, we'll show you what that is in a second here after I catch this crab. I'm hungry, so let's get going. Got ourselves a crab snare. My go-to knot is just a uni knot. Boom, one, six times around. Cinch it down. There we go, just directly onto the crab snare. And I have some herring for bay. I also have some squid if that doesn't work. You know what, let's go squid first. Squid is always a crowd favorite with these crabs. All right. The ocean is not looking very pretty today. Looks a little angry. Looks a little, little messy. But we should be able to catch some crab just right in front of us here. And you know what guys, we're not even gonna cast it. We're just gonna drop it in just right here. Wow, the water looks messy, looks dirty. Wanted to test out my new drone, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that with this wind. Oh wow, feels like probably 15 to 20 mile an hour winds right now on my back. We're just covered by this rock face. Um, the other side is completely just blown out and super windy. We'll just leave this here for maybe 5 to 10 minutes. And then we will come back and check it out. In the meantime, let's go check out what we got over here in this tide pool. You see this seaweed here? This one is called sea palm because they look like little palm trees. Very cool looking uh, seaweed, but these are actually protected in California. Just one of the only two uh, seaweeds that are protected who can't harvest. But what else we got? We got like little bits of sea lettuce. That's a little too small. I want like a nice, nice piece like, like this, like basically like a piece of nori. All right, it's only been uh, a couple of minutes, but let's just give, give it a check. Oh, oh, we might have one on here. Yep, we do. I think the crab is just holding on. I don't know if he's snared. There it is. Hey, that's a female rock crab there. Hey, that's a nice one, actually. Look at the pattern on him. Cool. The claws are good size. These have to be over four inches. So, uh, you know what? We're going to keep this one. This is a rock crab. This is a female. We'll keep it for now. See if we get any bigger males. Then we could toss it back. These rock crab are a lot more abundant than the Dungeness crab around here. So I don't really mind keeping a couple of females. And legally, you are allowed to keep females of both species if you're recreational fishing. But commercial fishermen have to release all the females. But people like me and you, just doing recreational, we're allowed to keep female crabs in California. But you know what? Even though we're allowed to keep female crabs, most of the time we let them go, right? You know, it's just kind of the the etiquette. Make sure my snares are all good. Looking good. Can the crab slayer snares. These work great. All right, we'll just flip it out there again. A little bit further out this time. In the meantime, you know what guys, I'm seeing a fair bit of trash in this area. This is one of my favorite spots to go to and there's too much trash here. Let's go pick some up. Somebody has some hooks. The hook wrappers, more of those, some fishing line. Come on guys, this is our job right here. This is, this is all fishermen making us look bad right here. We gotta pick them up. Little wrapper, more fishing line. This is thick line. It's like 50 pound mono. More candy wrappers. Jeez, this same guy, same wrapper with three of them. Pick up after yourself. This is embarrassing. You know what, guys? Let's just all do better about picking up trash, whether it's just after ourselves or even after other people. You know, it's sad that uh, a beautiful place like this, where nobody else is, we find trash from other fishermen. That's the sad part. Look at all these baby sea urchins. They're like tiny, tiny. Okay, we got some good, good, uh, good seaweed here. Right here, this iridescent, iridescent leaf, they call it. Whenever you harvest seaweed, use a little pocket knife or scissors. 
cut that off. I'm going to cut a couple of these off too. I want slightly bigger ones here. But these will work. Keeping my eyes on the waves. There was a recent article about a San Francisco man fishing in Big Sur and he got a, a wave just hit him, got him, washed him off the, the rocks and he ended up drowning and dying. So guys, please be careful when you're out here, especially in these conditions when it's not the friendliest. Always check the tide, always check the swell, always check the wind. The tide is like the moon, it's always predictable so you can plan ahead. But the swell and the wind is dependent on weather so it's not predictable you got to check the day before and the day of right before you go out all right so be careful out there don't die don't drown i'll leave links in the description for uh, the resources i use to check the tide check the swell check the wind so you can you know have a uh, have a information on you know where to check it and how to check and all that kind of stuff Let's see how we're doing here Oh, I think it just came off. Bait's been eaten. Should we try herring? Maybe the big ones want herring. Oh, this is a nice pack. All right, we'll cast this one out a little bit. Not too far, there's a lot of rocks here. Just over there. Oh, there's a rock right there. Just a little bit closer. Okay, right there. All right, we're gonna give the drone a shot. I mainly wanna learn how to fly this new drone. I got the Mavic Air 2S while I was in Oregon. All right, first time flying it. I have the drone registered if you have drones and make sure you register them. Uh, battery should be good, yep. And we'll try it out. a successful flight it did pretty well in the wind it gave me the warnings though like high winds but uh, yeah it did pretty well nice uh, this is gonna be we're gonna get some awesome drone footage with this coming coming up this year okay let's check now oh yeah there is one on there got him by the claw that's a male bigger claws all right I'll let the female go. There we go. Nice meaty claws. Yes. All right, let's check out the female we got. The female is bigger, the carapace size. The claws on the male might be a little bit bigger. They're about the same, but it might be a tiny bit bigger in the male. But we'll let the female go now. Let's see if we can get another, another male. See you later. Woo. All right, we'll try that same area a little bit further out. There you go. And when I put it down, I always put it, like to put it down on the rocks upside down. Or like the rod is upside down, right? So it doesn't damage the reel and so the line doesn't hit the rocks so, and it doesn't get frayed. You know, if the line gets frayed on the rock, it'll cut. Okay, well, I'm going to start setting up for the cooking. I got my firebox today. I haven't used this in a while. I love this thing though. That seems like a pretty safe spot. I'd say that's pretty level. <laughs> Not really, but <laughs> it'll work. Okay, I brought a bunch of sticks. Well, I got some trash in here, but I have also a used paper towel. I got firewood in here. Let's put that in. The cool thing is with the firebox, you can go like this. If they're too long, go like that. Go like that. 
In here, I also brought a couple pieces of charcoal as well, just to keep that heat going. All right, you know what? Let's get the fire going. Well, that was easy to get going. A lot of wind. So it is really, really, really going. I'm gonna get this little, little pot of water boiling. Oh, this is all salt water, by the way. There we go. There's a good one. Oh, there was two on there, that's why. This is another male with pretty decent claws. He's not very big, but he's got good claws, that's for sure. Let's just make sure he's a legal size of four inches. Oh, yep, he is just over four inches. We're good. I think I'm going to try to catch one more for Jocelyn. So she can have a crab when we get home. Okay, thank you. Crab, thank you very much for the meat. Okay. And to you as well, thank you. Gotta give this a quick clean. All right, my water's boiling, so let's get this in there. Wait, 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 wait. It's just about there. There we go. Well, guys, while we get the crab cooking, let's have a little cheers. A little beer time. We got Almanac IPA. Love Hazy IPA. Nice. Cheers. There was an extra gulp in that that one because <laughs> it's so good. It's very fruity this one. Yeah, normally I prefer less fruity uh, IPAs, but yeah, these hazy sometimes perfect, perfect fruitiness. Hopefully, I brought enough wood. That's all the firewood I brought. Always have more firewood than you think you need. This reminds me of my YouTube profile picture. I had a firebox in the picture, I had a beer, and I was like this the same exact hat. <laughs> I'm getting a crab nearly every single cast. So <laughs> that's pretty good. And I got another one. This feels like a good one. Oh, that's a nice one. This one is going to be for Jocelyn. I'll save this for her. Look at that nice claw. Biggest one of the day. Biggest claws of the day. Awesome. All right, well, that should be done. I'm pretty sure that's done. So let's go. I'm gonna go dump this out and uh, well, I'll just dump it, dump the water right here. Let's just put some cold water on it. All right, I'm back. Now, all I'm gonna do is take out all the meat out of the shells, I'll place it in, in the lid here. Ooh, can't resist this. I haven't had crab in a while. It's crab season, but lately I've been focusing on my halibut, so. Ooh, that's good. That is tasty. Love it. I love it. So far, nothing has made it into the pan. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Happiness in a shell. <laughs> All right, not too much crab. <laughs> I ate most of the crab, so. Uh, but that, that should be enough for what I'm doing here. We're gonna make some onigiri. I made onigiri before on the channel. But we're, this time we're making yaki onigiri. So we'll show you what that looks like. I have some plain steamed rice here. And my fire is catching again, perfect timing. Got a little bit of salt water here. Normally when you make onigiri, put some water on your hand and put some salt on your hands as well to season the rice. But I have salt water here, so that works perfect. So I'm gonna just start forming this onigiri. Just a handful of rice, and then you make it into a triangle shape. All right, after you make that shape, I'm gonna just poke a hole right in the middle and fill it with crab. 
just like so. And then we're gonna close it up and form that triangle again. Make sure it's nice and tight. And that's uh, onigiri right there. But we're not done. Yaki means to grill. So that's what we're doing. That's why we have the fire going. So we're gonna grill that. I have a little bit of soy sauce here. I put some oil in here too because I needed some oil. Figured the oil would stay on the top layer. So I can go like this and just oil up my grill. So I didn't I didn't need two containers. I think my little little grill top is hot enough. I'm gonna drop my first onigiri on there. I wanna first get a little crust on there on both sides and then put the soy sauce on. Turning out to be a beautiful day. The clouds have cleared. Oh man, feeling good. There we go. Now we're burning. There we go, nice. A little crust on there. I'm gonna start saucing it up now. Let's do a little flip now. Nice. Okay, it's time to eat. I am starving. These look so good. Nice little crust on there. Nice. Oh, oh my gosh. First bite I take, and there's already crab. A ton of crab. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is awesome. Yaki onigiri guys, crab yaki onigiri. You gotta try this one. It's so easy to do out here with the little fire box. Mm. The texture of this rock crab is going perfectly with the rice, with the soy sauce. The little char, smokiness. Mm. It was actually a good call to put a little bit of oil in the soy sauce. Now. The rice is like nice and oily too. It's like very smooth and buttery. Well guys, that was a successful solo day. Turned out to be a beautiful day. Nice clear skies. Couldn't ask for anything better. Please, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Just realized I totally forgot one thing. I grabbed the seaweed so I can grill uh, grill it a little bit and then wrap the yaki onigiri in a little bit of grilled seaweed forgot about that next time that would have been good though